it's like a privilege to be there and especially if you win and you are coming back home the love <laughs> from the people it's it's a good feeling it's it is not not like any other feeling is not better than the feeling of wearing a, a national jersey and yeah. something like that. So round the country for a day and we will finish it. A day. Yeah. <laughs> it's just we are in the we are like a pond inside Senegal. Okay. So Senegal surround us by the three parts, except the West that is the island. Mm. We are not a big country like and the farthest place we go is just forty five minutes drive. Forty five minutes drive. Yeah. So the first time I travelled to Accra I was telling them I'm doing that. Welcome to Motion Sports on Kofi Jesse TV. Nyamina Dumanda so ya baba kansa wo Motion Sports. The same channel, the same show, but different guests. Nande ya nyeru baba chuchunkomo wa harini. Nde ya kwa the camp of Cape Coast Ladies Strikers. Ya nyeru wan captain of the side. Ano nande ya nyeru baba chuchunkomo. But surprisingly, oye a foreign base player. Miche ofi. Aman Fofrodo, Honorable Boa Ghana, and said, Yenya, a team from Cape Coast are assigned a foreign place into uh, your place, a team of my hand. And so, I will connect any, your guests, any Baba Chuchun Common, we encourage you to subscribe to all our social media handles, Eko Bibiara, or your Kofi Jesse TV, or your Facebook, Twitter, or your YouTube, Digna Kofi Jesse TV. Naman Kaude, or your Cape Store. Once we're born, we must be to more quantum purposes. Me, say what gadget be in a pair of twenty, and I dare pay gadget be not at all. Bombers in the phone, your chair or your cape store, a walk near quite a bigger gadget, a papa ne etum ato. The moon moya soon quon with it on your fraud. BBI a real war into Martin there. Echo, yes, Lincoln Botto or Nizine there, a book or a site or a qua, a register. A register BBI a boon product BRA a pen, a be place to order. A place to order a scan room when you perform what direct no work at the on farm bro. We be just can no with the CA and other was at war. You perform is it as a procurer are order as bar bro as the bro one where an kasa as the neighbor is with someone. I call I call confirm the ampa when sir cousin and son was in perform this guy was a man. The more thing there on them the where an kasa ne ekita wo password ekita wo register wo user name ninti obiru tum. On Kwanko confirm wa bra it you whisk and chinawaranga sana confirm because a log in with your password in the oma BBR or a genuine BBI real. Into bombazen nako or ye um cape store in a cocota winyama and other cocoton winyamo. Inum the wasting an arson majumezi or tum or badu. Ye guess for today or ye Ellen from Gambia and I yen rabbi chungoma. Ellen, how are you? Oh, I'm fine by the grace of God. Hope everything is cool. How is training? <laughs> it's not easy. Um, um, before before we start our conversation, let's check the weather condition in um, Ghana and specifically Cape Coast as compared to your country. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, the 
enjoy 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 Do you face any difficulty in your adaptation, especially at the camp? Well, no. Uh, I'm not speaking because my team manager is here. Okay. I'm speaking of experience. I've been here, no obstacles, no challenges, no nothing. We make sure everything is provided, whatever we need is given. So, it's like I'm home. I don't miss home at all. <laughs> okay, um, it's in for my uncle commercial break in a young brana. Oh, yeah, yeah, Baba Sod. Back to motion sports on Coffee Jesse TV. Uh, any oye Ellen, any drink come on a mom, uh, one thing there oye Gambian. See on T three and another on Tim Fancy no kun crubi for now so m to do I nyin baka tree so kakra uh no mum bro fo na yebe ye and I can um throughout. So um since you say you don't mix home at all. I do. Are are you sure? I am very sure because when it comes to the environment it's healthy it's like I am with other sisters from my different family. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's speaking about food, let, let's compare how how is the food like? Um, comparing uh, um, Ghana food to that of the Gambia, what's the difference? It's very, it's a big difference. Mm. Like, people eat most of cereals. Yeah. We, we eat more of rice. Okay. Yes. Our food are always rice, stew, like rice and stew. For you people, you have the condom, vegetable food. Which one is your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <With Ogre. laughs> is, is there any food in your country which is similar to the Banku and the Well, they are all there. I, I ate them before coming. Okay. We have restaurants that provide it. You go and buy most of the time and eat it. Okay. Okay. Uh, let, let, let's, let's see the economical aspect. Um, Ghana as compared to um, Gambia. Is it? Do you spend much here? As compared to Gambia. Yes, and yes, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my oh. Because like if you go to the market this month, yeah. You buy, for example, I came in August 10th. I went to the market to get my food stocks. I bought oil for 25 CDs. I went end of August, that is October 2nd or 3rd. To buy oil, it is 32 cities. <laughs> like the the cost of goods, the way they are, mm. are like increasing them. Even me, I don't understand. Whether is it every day or a week. But anything you buy this month, if you are going to buy it next month, it's either plus three, plus four, plus five. Mm. So it, uh, 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 apart from the economic wise, the country is nice, it's peaceful. I don't know any area, but the area I am is very peaceful. Okay. Yes, so I can talk based on the experience I have. So I've been here for almost seven months now. Yeah. So I've not faced any other challenges. The only challenge I'm facing now is economic wise. <laughs> I'm spending too much of money. You are spending too much. People talk about market. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it shall go, it shall go. Maybe it's more time. Management will increase your salary so that uh, um, things will be. <laughs> okay, um, let's come back to the football. Uh, um, how was the adaptation in football? Okay, but before that, um, which teams did you play over there? Were you fro straight from Gambia to Ghana or you were playing somewhere before you were signed? Yes, I was playing from Gambia to Ghana straight. Okay. Yes. This is my first international contract. Oh. Yes. And uh, when I came, 
it was not easy because <laughs> of like the strength wise of the players. When it comes to Ghanaians, they are more tough and stronger than me. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. To be frankly honest. Uh, for us, we are not that strong, we are not physical. Okay. So, uh, during my first match, I struggled a lot. Uh, my team manager can bear me with it, and it's, it was during the Ramadan too, and I was fasting in that process. Mm -hmm. I did not even complete the game. I guess I I was substituted around 17 minutes of the game. So it was very tough. By then, all the water in my body. <laughs> yes. So from there, I started adapting, started mm. pushing myself, telling myself that if I have to play this, I have to adopt. Still now, I'm adapting. Okay. As they say, training is always learning. And the environment that we are, we are full of uh, coaches that are ready to teach you anytime you're ready to learn. So it's really an honor for me to be in the industry. Because I've been improved wisely, self, mentally, and physically. -wise. So I can say much just to say Alhamdulillah. As the process is going, I'm still learning. So Wh which team were you playing before coming to? Okay. Okay. And you are now the team captain. Yes, I am. Okay. L let's see. Let's compare the league. Mm -hmm. Um, how difficult is it playing in Gambia? Do they have the same routine, the league routine as in Ghana? Because here you'll be traveling a lot from um, Cape Coast to Takrade, from Cape Coast to Accra. Uh, how, how is that? Well, Gambia is a small country. <laughs> okay. you, can, you can run the country for a day and you finish it. A day? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, we are, in the, we are like a tongue inside Senegal. Okay. So, Senegal surrounds us by the three parts, except the West, that is the Atlantic. Mm. We are not a big country. Like, and the farthest place we go is just 45 minutes drive. 45 minutes drive? Yes. So the first time I traveled to Accra, I was telling them, I'm doing that. <laughs> because it was my first time sitting on a vehicle over two hours. Yeah. To to play again. So, and after that, your legs become swollen up you know, before you relax. And especially if you had to play in an asphalt of it's always not easy. Your legs will be hurting. The top yeah. is very hot, like that. The experience is good, but sometimes it's challenging, seriously, yeah, because you find it very uncomfortable while playing on that hot sun while you sit there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And from there, immediately, boom, enter car again. You're going back. <laughs> yes, it's not easy at all, but it's a good experience for me because me, I like adventure. So mm -hmm. I'm still processing the content. Because every time I go out, I will ask them, this one, this place, how many days will you go? Mm. Some of them will tell me, the place I come from, I will go for two days before I reach. I look yeah. at them, I laugh, I say, ah, why? <laughs> country, you are driving for two days, you will not reach. If I come to one day, you banjo to Basi, you will reach, is it seven hours, you will reach. Maybe if you are coming back, it will be late, but still now you will reach and come back. So it's different. Wow. It's very big. But the experience was good. It's good. Let's compare the quality of players in Ghana, in the Ghana League, as compared to um, the Gambian League, because you've tasted both leagues. Yeah. Well, Gambia, we have quality players, but we will not compare them with Ghana. Mm. Ghana has more, because we are only play, playing first division. Okay. Ghana is playing of the Premier League. Yeah. So it's very big. When we are to compare Ghana and Gambia, we are always behind them because in football, we are structuring sponsorship. They are always in front. Including uh, facilities? Yes. For us, like women's football, we they started uh, empowering it not okay. long ago. Okay. But here is a big difference. Mm. You can see every club, most of the clubs, I would say, they have their own sponsors. Yeah. So it's different. For me, the club I was we, we don't have a sponsor. We have sole property. That is one. Yeah, one man. Yes. 
if she is broke, we all go broke. <laughs> So here is different. Mm. So at least uh, you see clubs that have been helped by companies, like for mm. example, I like met Betway and Mother Guinness yeah. sponsoring the league. Yeah. We, we don't have that. The only sp- they, they sponsor only men football. Okay. Women's football, they don't. We struggle on our jerseys on our own by the team owners. Yeah, it'd be nice. So one jersey that is being given out to all the teams. From yeah. So it's, it's very big. But for me, it's an adventure I'm still learning and hope if we have the opportunity in order to help our country to this. <laughs> okay, so how, how do they see you after going there for the vacation when the league, uh, when they break the league? Well, they see me differently. Most of them are calling me Ghanaian. They say I, have, <laughs> I look like a Ghanaian. But for me, like, when I've been there, I've been more calm into football, like, mm. before. Like, I'm still mm, still learning, as I told you. I'm still under that badge of adapting with the way Ghanaians play football. But when I went home to play test games with different people, yeah. sports and home-based players, I see a lot of big differences. Yes, in you? In me, yes. Because like I can do what I did not expect I could do when I go back. So still, if I go back next season, it will be another history too. Yeah. Because they are really teaching me, and I'm I'm really learning. Okay. Hi, Motion Sports on Coffee Jesse TV. I am Ellen, the captain of Cape Coast Lady Strikers. Now, I am to come on. I am a foreigner, a foreign-based player. I am from Gambia. Yeah, you can see me and with my subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Kofi Jesse TV, uh, or social media handles Facebook, Twitter, on your Instagram, Ning Nan, or Kofi Jesse TV. Now, I'm going to go um, Cape Store, Cape Store, no, so I'll go out with or tomorrow. One can one way say nothing, may you to me or bo or another Jimmy or tomorrow. One can say, Bombas and say, gadget been a pedal to an um, say, what or a gadget been a pedal a tra Bombas and Nako or a Cape Store. Design the link now or that screen in Nassin. A book that website now register a register. We are a book of your product in a place to order in a one saka or order. A chew skin we are was ordered by Braille and Sana are confirmed name for Colonel Sakaniska. So order the banana and confirm me and for Colonel Sankaniska. Nessie place order the sooner saying for Colonel Fan by a new son in Sankaniska. Into a penis can or Baba na a confirm man and Sana. The confirmation is so or a very simple. I will need be able to confirm and sign in Sakaniska. We send a register, we registration in, we username or now password or into them password in next but login near to my confirm. And so be a new password in on tomb on channel and other on tomb on your fracadam biara in see or yeah, um, keep store, keep store abba, dorba, bobwa, may you to me at Tanazi, nay to me at Tazwa online. Is so yeah, 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 um Ellen, let's see. Last season you played last season. Uh, what was the most highlight of your game last season? Well, let's see. Uh, the the most game I enjoyed was playing is against Army Ladies. Army Ladies? Yes, when we beat them. Okay. Army, yes. That game, even me, I knew, like, I am really adapting to Ghana football. It was, like, I was playing without even getting tired. Wow. Of that. And, like, it is, when it's strength wise, they were hitting. <laughs> like, the, at- the, the attackers were hitting us like mm. challenging. If you go air, they will attack you for. But still, it does not stop me from playing. You get up again, back to your feet and play. Well, I would say maybe that day, uh, hungriness of it was part of me. <laughs> so, yes. It is not easy, especially uh, my last game of this season was is it against uh, Sea Lions. Yeah. Yes. Even me, I on like it was not a bad game, but I underrated myself because I collected 
double yellow card. I was sent out of the field. <laughs> yes, because like I was playing very rough. Oh. Yes, very rough. I was just hitting. The, the referee is talking to, to me out. Did not even mean it. Was, was that a revenge? I don't. I don't even know why I was playing <laughs> like that, like that. But uh, and Ghana referees too. They are not leaving us alone. To be frankly honest, like a. Our referees in the Gambia, they are different. Mm -hmm. When they talk to you, they will come. Here, they will scream at you. Like, <laughs> I will send you out. It's football. It cannot be easy. Mm -hmm. We are all chasing one ball. Yes, it's true. But sometimes, the tackles need to be there. The tagging need to be there. The uh, fights need to be there. But if they are there to be, like, strict on the other side, mm -hmm. like, for example, the games that I play away, me, I, I am very angry with the referees that call the match. <laughs> like, they are always favoring the home teams. Okay. If you go to play, if you go and play away, it's always difficult on your side. Like, no, none, of, none of them are supporting you. Like, they don't need to be supportive. They need to be neutral. Neutral. Yes, they are there to guide us to play the ball. But sometimes they are always fine. Sorry to use that language, but that is my observation. Okay. And why I'm saying this is, against Jonina, I was not playing because my working family was not ready. So I was outside. Like the ball hit the ring and dropped down in the field. The last woman ran as a goal. But the central referee was there. Okay. She she knew that it was not a goal, but she turned and faced the last woman. As that one is running to indicate his goal, she also called a goal. Even the video, if you watch it, you saw the ball bounce before the touchline. Mm -hmm. How does it become a goal? Sometimes they are there to help. Yeah. But if we are being like, if we are supportive to teams, players become aggressive and they will not see the fault of the referee. They will say this player has no discipline. Okay. Sometimes we are out of patience with referees, <laughs> but we need to be calm. Especially my team uh, manager, he, he will he will warn you at the dressing room. Leave the referees for me. But sometimes you cannot because the way they are. Yeah. I know it's a different league. Yeah. Still now um, I'm adapting to referees, but to be frankly honest, they they, they will make you to lose out of patience. That, that that's one challenge you are facing, eh? Yes. Hope other, other than that, um, like I said, this is a little bit different in China because right. I've learned a lot and still learning and we play a bit of football. And we will not make any promises but now, but we will see ourselves in the top four in China. Okay, but before we come to um, the upcoming season, um, let me let's go back a bit to last season okay. when you were fasting and pr um, playing at the same time. Was it the first time you were playing during uh, fasting time or? Yes. Because in the Gambia, when it comes to Ramadan, the federation differs. Okay. Most of the players are Muslim. Okay. It's unlike them. <laughs> so in Ramadan, that month, all we, we have the day. It's only the men, and they, they play their games at night after Iftar. Okay. So, but for ladies, we postpone the league till after Ramadan. That is so, so it was my first how difficult was it or you, it's normal to you well it's normal but the struggles it's like you're running and you're sweating at the same time you run out of water and when playing ball you need to be hydrated yeah. so that aspect i struggle a lot of it because i play to the extent my throat got dry and i can't do <laughs> but I have to continue. So when I knew, like, it was the last minute of the game, and I'm getting tired, and there are also a defender at the bench before me crossing the team. You are the after. by then we are leading on. So I just I told Coach after the let me see and another person comes. As we are team, we help one another and grab the points. So I hope um, this season, if the upcoming season gets into the Ramadan, you'll be able to play better than you did yes, last. Yes, I'll be able to play better. I'll make sure I eat four bamboo before <laughs> <laughs> drink more water. <laughs> yes. Sometimes it's, it's not difficult, but Ghana, so it's not even the sun. Ghana heat is too much. The heat is too much. Too much yes. 
<laughs> Welcome to Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they need to show me, they need you to show me. Mm. But we will find me. Yes. And that's why we are brothers. So we'll okay. Um. Let's see. Why do you choose football as a profession? Well, football is for me is passion. My professor is hairdressing and I'm a stylist. Okay. Yes. I do that work before coming here. Yeah, but football is part of me. I've been playing since I was eight. Being introduced by my elder brother. So from there, we started enjoying the game like that and stick to it. It's not because I don't have anything to do or I don't have a choice. It's okay. just a passion for me. Okay. Because I have another thing to back me up. Uh, sure. Sure. So, so, so let's see. Being a stylist, definitely you are going to get some income. Um, did you consider uh, um, the money wise when you get an offer to Ghana as compared to your uh, your business? No, like for football, I, I always dream in playing pro. So when the offer came, I was happy. Okay. Because I knew that football is my passion. Okay. Like I said, because I always have offers, but the team never released me. Because mm. they always say, you don't have a replacement, you don't have a replacement. But when Lady Shikers came, nobody told me. They processed everything until I was to sign the contract. Because me, my mother gave me to my club president. Okay. Yes, yeah, since I started with her, because I've been with her for eight seasons. Mm. So when whatever she's doing, she just tell my mom, and they hide it away from me <laughs> until everything was set. After they told me, I met up with the agent, read the document, and I saw it was a good offer. So I decided to go in for it. Wow. Yes. Then you are in Ghana now. Yes, I am. Okay. I am Moses Sports on Kofi <laughs> Jesse TV. I am the captain of Cape Coast Lady Strikers. I am the captain of Cape Coast Lady Strikers. to our YouTube channel. I am the captain of Cape Store. I am the captain of Cape Coast Lady Strikers. So, um, Ellen, let, let's see. Um, how, how was the feeling like when you were uh you were giving the news to be the captain of the side because i think last season you were not the captain mm, yeah. but you are now the captain for the upcoming season mm. how was the feeling like when you knew you are now the captain of the team well it's a privilege given to me because there are many home based players here that even seniored me in the team I guess uh, they saw potentials in me, which me have not seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, am, uh, I can and I will be able to lead the team into a success uh, full season. So it was really a privilege for me. I thought about it. I talked talk to my people about it. They just give me advices and told me, as far as they believe in you, that you can lead the team. So you just need focus land in that's all. But for me it's really a big privilege for me. Because like as I told you there are players, capable ones, skillful ones, home based players. Me as a foreigner. I don't even know how to speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> decided me to to lead that team. So it's really an honor for me. So, so uh, um, how how is the communication like? Because you can't speak the chi. Mm. So, how do you communicate with them in terms of um, being at camp on the field of play? Uh, how is it like? The basics I know. <laughs> like, like when we are playing, the basics I know, like Brawl, Jacob, Liam, uh, like one pass, Fama Miji, all that. Thing, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, uh, like, if you are in a foreign land, you need to learn. Mm -hmm. And I told you, I'm not only here to play ball. If the adventure was in school, so I'm still learning. So, we, when it's the clubhouse, for that one, if they talk most of the time, I understand. Like the small, small ones. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Yanko, Nko, and Kojai, all that. <laughs> <laughs> As time goes on, I'll be able to construct good sentences and all. Okay. But this 
small, small words uh, I have to learn because I have to communicate with them inside. Because if I'm speaking English most of the time, they forget that I don't know what they are saying. Mm. Or if they are talking to me, they forget to I don't understand most of them. So I also always oh, want to know anything they tell me, I will ask. Okay. What is the meaning and the interpreter I understand? Okay. Um, l let's, let's look at you are now the captain. Mm -hmm. The season is here to start. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations as a captain of the team? Well, as I told you, it's too early to talk uh, about it. But for me, when it comes to the team, we are well prepared. Okay. For anybody. We are well prepared. And if you come and you think we are not prepared, we will give you your boots and you go on it. We have been training for 10 good weeks mm. and it was not on bed. We grab muscles, we have thighs, we have ankle injuries, we take it and come up. We are well prepared. The hungryness, the readiness is already there. Because as the team president, he makes sure that we don't lack anything. Okay. Yes. So we also make sure that. Our aim this season is to at least give him one of the trophies. Even if we can gather all of them, we will give him. <laughs> so Being the FA Cup yeah, in the league. The league, the Super Cup, everything. We are ready. We are fully prepared. They prepared us well. It's only when God says otherwise. If okay. I told to enter pitch and collect points, we are very ready. So to everybody that is listening or watching, that I'm going to. Uh, Cape Coast, I'm going to be Lady Shikers. They should be well, prepared because as at home now, we are not ready to lose. <laughs> even away, we are not ready to lose. Mm. We have our targets and we will make sure we fulfill them. Otherwise, we will be fine. We, <laughs> we want them to be dropping my bonuses for us. Okay. Turn, so we are very prepared. Because there's no losing bonus. Yes. So definitely you need to win. There's losing bonus, so punishment at the training now. <laughs> that's, that's a losing bonus, eh? So anything we can collect from them this season, we will collect it in charge. Okay. So, so this is to the management, they should yes, prepare well. He's hearing me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, prepare well because we are well prepared. Okay. Um, before we wrap up the show, uh, you are. You, you play for the Gambian national team. Yes. Was it before you signed for Lady Strikers? Or yes. So you've been in the national team for how long? Well, for the senior level, I was invited in 2001. Okay. Yes. Uh, I started for like 2021. Yes. But have not played any single month, but I traveled with the team. Ah. Because as I always say, it's difficult if you go to a team and have a squad. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's always difficult, especially national. And for that one, I was struggling because I'm there and I'm also a homeless. Girl. And most okay. of them are in the national. So maybe this season will be different if we are to be called up. Maybe I will get the chance. To play. But for you, 20 wise have played uh, since 2018. Okay. How, how is the feeling like being at the national camp? Yes, it's it's always like a privilege to be there, and especially if you win and you are coming back home, the love from <laughs> the people, it's it's a good feeling. Mm. Really, it's it is not not. Like any other feeling is not better than the feeling of wearing a, a national jersey and representing. So, in the national team, what are your expectations this season to get a call up? Or yes, uh, as I told you, even when I did not join Lady Strikers, I've been always invited to the national consecutively from okay. year to it. Not, not even I did not miss any single name. Always there. Yes. So this season we just want to move ahead with the ladder to prepare to be part of the 
um, lastly, on the religious aspects, being a Muslim, um, from moving away from home, do you have any difficulties since you came you came to Ghana? No, because uh, most of our technical are Muslim, and uh, okay. yes. uh, football has to admit uh, four Muslims. Okay. Yeah, so I was difficult. Now we are all, we are also mm. still there. So as a Muslim is normal. Anywhere you go, you can still perform your religion. The like for my family, especially my uncle, it was finally difficult. <laughs> yes. Like, most of the Ghanaians are Christian. So mm -hmm. if I come. My prayers will not be intact and all. But Alhamdulillah, when I came, like those people also were always there praying. So we pray on mm. so that. Even if you are tired, you did not pray, you are sleeping, they will still make you and tell you. <laughs> So I hope uh, let's talk lastly a uh, last question being on the financial issue uh, uh, are you are you satisfied with the uh, uh, um, your salary and how is the treatment based on your financial issues from the camp of ladies strikers Yes that's what I told you if I thought the offer was not good in the first place I would be here uh, the offer was very good that's why I am here the only problem I have with the financial aspect is if market is increasing, they are still standing at one place. Mm. So, so if, <laughs> yeah. if if it's things go up, yeah. they should they should also go to the market to check <laughs> if they are to give us extra hundred or two, it will be good sometimes. But they are also standing there, they are not moving. Uh, they will move, they will move. We, we will force them to move. Uh, so, so do you think, since you are a foreign based player, I hope mostly some people, uh, especially some siblings, maybe depending on you, do you get enough to support them? Yeah. Do, you do you send money home? Or because you are in someone's land, you, you spend everything by yourself? No, uh, I save. I can't send because since I came, I was even talking to my team when they are about it. It's mm -hmm. difficult to find, a, a, let's say, Forex Bureau to make that sending and a transaction. transaction like that. So we are like saving our money. We go and they pay us, we go and change it to Forex and back so that we can misuse it. So if we are going, we pack our money and take it. Okay. Okay, uh, so so you are now keeping Dallas, right? Yeah. Okay, then it is it means as if you are in Europe since yeah. you are dealing with yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, then 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 we, we, we should give thumbs up to the management of uh, um, Lady Strikers for treating you better. Though they don't stay with us, we stay alone. But if you call any of them for now, they will make sure that whatever you need is in there. Like for example, we we lack TV, they will provide. We have the one. <laughs> if you want it, you don't need to on light. Ah, uh, okay. And you can hotspot your phone and enter anywhere, watch anything you want. Okay. So basically, they are making us feel one. We are not missing no one. The only another problem we have mm -hmm. is MTM data. <laughs> yeah, like maybe the home based players find their way to but for us like it's like they are taking it from us so like what then mm. uh, but are you not using me if I subscribe 3G bundle it's four days where it's finished. <laughs>
<laughs> like that is serious like but we cannot sit down without watching tiktok to one they like and if you enter there forget about it you go and buy again uh, then yes. you must reduce you must reduce yes. the- <laughs> <laughs> but other than that alhamdulillah just to say a big thank you to doctor the management they make sure that our needs have been taken care of as coach said our boss is in our clubhouse is also ready mm. we can move anytime from now so we like we don't like anything okay. this is in two jerseys and you and they will post the, the jerseys in the media you will see this, okay. this time will come this time will come in style which that style will take trophies in China. and anybody that is standing in our way will pack him your 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 I, I i want your face who match your the face a uh, uh, match of the season will be a home match yeah. and we are playing against police and the history of lady strikers against police they are always beating us at home yes but this time we will, we will send them with their goals so you promise a win they are listening in and they will watch <laughs> they should be very prepared because we are very prepared for them they think we are there, we are there well that marriage alliance we break the you <laughs> oh, lastly lastly <laughs> you 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 just lastly are you married no i'm not no kid no kid mm-hmm. that's why you don't make so yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. my mom is there my siblings are there mm. i talk to them on phone all the time okay why you need to miss home is because where you are you're not comfortable you're not eating well you're not sleeping well. and we are doing all of that so you can't miss home you just miss the people at home okay yes so okay. when you miss them you just give them a call and that is that okay so lastly the floor is yours what we tell your teammates the management friends who are watching you outside What's your last message to to your viewers? Well, for for our viewers, we especially fans, we are urging you to come on the 19th and support. We are playing against police ladies at Robbins Mensa, yeah. uh, Sido. Yes, so it will be a, a great plus for us because as players, fans sharing us also give us morals to push more. Mm-hmm. So for them to come is also will be a, a, a big plus for us. And uh, for the clubs to us, I said, ladies strikers before and now is different. If you are coming, be prepared. <laughs> so if you are not prepared, sorry for you. Yes. So the management, I can say thank you to them. Because as a foreigner, as I said before, I don't miss home. I am here. They are our second parents. We don't miss anything. We don't lack anything. Whatever we need is being given and being provided. We thank them a lot, especially the president, Doctor himself. Yeah. He is always there for us. He like for me the former club I I was. We don't see the president most of the time, but he will make sure when he misses us, he will come and have one on one talk with us. <laughs> yes. And when he is coming, he will bring plenty items. Ah, the last time I was even telling Ampon, so I said, ah, call Doctor, we miss him most. Let him come. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yes. So because when he, is, yes, when he is coming, he does not come empty-handed like okay. that. He will make sure he is going to a family, kids, grandkids are there waiting. And he comes good. And we are also waiting for him. We did not see him. We have to see him before we played on Saturday. Okay. So, yes. So, we are telling him a big thank you to... We love whatever he gives us this season. We are happy about it. Starting with the jerseys, everything. We are very grateful for him. And we are praying for him for more success, health and world-wise. Because he is really there for us. Especially we foreigners. Mm, we, we are like we are home yes and he makes us to feel home so we are thanking him very well thank you thank you for your time almost is for us yes and thank you for hosting me and calling me in english <laughs> if not me people will start running away because <laughs> i don't know what i've done without the english and otherwise 
<laughs> but as I told you, maybe you will come back. But before then, I'll make sure I'll speak good to you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. I was just was on Coffee Jesse TV and the LN, the captain. <laughs> Of Cape Coast, the district is my Mitchell Chunkomo. If I'm proud of my subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel or our social media handles, Nina or Coffee, Jesse TV, now men proud of every time Apple or your Cape store, Cape store, now Apple to wazi and other Apple to wazi. I want to secure in the bombers and now for Lincoln, no register as it be a PBR, you want to be to my at all. So what's up for a pedal at an oza also but was at home will be what about to a hot number of men come here is the jimmy's is the cne or a ellen from cape coast lady striker the current captain of cape coast lady striker i remember the jimmy's is no charm mrs no ahmed but my from oya say no yes i share next week number one could be a fan channel